Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be looking at the Chelsea versus Tottenham predicted lineup and what could happen in the match. First off, starting in the goalkeeping position, Frank Lampard confirmed that Edward Mendy is fit and will be included in the squad for Tuesday's match, which means that Edward Mendy could start and I am picking him as my goalkeeper. Willy Caballero did not have a very great game versus West Bromwich Albion and Kepa. You know there is no chance he starts versus Tottenham. So my choice is Edward Mendy and it will be very exciting to see him in action for the first time in a Chelsea jersey. Let's hope he gets along with some great saves and keeps a clean sheet. That would be amazing. On the right back position, I am going with Cesar Aspilicueta, our captain, and he showed us why he is our captain versus West Bromwich Albion. Bought on at half time, he was superb for the 45 minutes he was on the pitch and led the team by example. He challenged for balls, he ran the pitch, he did so many things on the pitch and was so integral for our comeback from 3 0 down. So, on the right back spot, Cesar Aspilicueta, and also because Reese James deserves a rest. He has played a lot of matches for us this season and he deserves a rest, that is for sure. So, on the right back position, Cesar Aspilicueta, our captain. The two centre backs now, and there is only one option Fikayo Tomori and Kurt Zuma. Andres Christensen and Thiago Silva played versus West Bromwich Albion, and we saw some mistakes from both of them. Kurt Zuma was fantastic for us last season and this season also in the beginning he was fantastic. I don't know why Lampard chose not to play him. He, he was not even in the squad but Fikayo Tomori as well. He is a young star and once Thiago Silva retires he will step up and he is our third best centre back at the club. So, the centre-back pairing of Kurt Zuma and Fikayo Tomori will do wonders for us versus Tottenham and that is how I want my team lined up. On to the left-back position and Frank Lampard has confirmed that Ben Chilwell is fit again to play. He played some minutes versus Barnsley, gave one assist to and I was thinking that he will make his Premier League debut for Chelsea versus West Brom. but. You know what happened, catastrophe happened, Marcus Alonso started and he was the reason we conceded two of those three goals. So it's good to have Ben Chilwell back or you can say start in the EFL Cup again and he will give some problems to Tottenham's wingers because he has pace, his defensive abilities are good also and we all know how good he is going forward along the wing and getting crosses in. So can't wait for Ben Chilwell to play a full 90 minutes versus Jose Mourinho's team and Mourinho will be looking for some extra revenge because Frank Lampard has beaten him three times, once with Derby and twice with Chelsea last season while Jose Mourinho has zero wins against Frank Lampard as a manager. So. It's the prodigy versus the master. Let's see who wins. On to the two defensive midfielders and my choice is Ross Barkley and Jorginho. I know Kovacic and Conte played last time and they don't play well together. That is a known fact. Plus, Barkley plays like prime Ronaldinho in cup games. I don't know how that happens. But it does happen and he's a very good squad player for us. Jorginho, same with him. He did not play the last match. So he deserves some minutes until he is at the club. There are rumours he could go to Arsenal. But nothing is confirmed as till now. So let's just wait and see. But for the DM positions, my choices are Jorginho and Ross Barkley. On the left wing now, Callum hudson Adoy has to start has to start means has to start lampard did see what he is capable of versus 
West Bromwich Albion he came on at half time scored one goal gave one assist and was the catalyst to our comeback we came back from 3-0 down to 3-3 and drew the match it was an amazing match for the history books and Callum Hudson-Odoi proved that he can play at the highest level with some potential but 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 he has to keep up the form he has to show Lampard what he is capable of for at least 5 to 6 match matches continuously because if not Lampard will drop him again he has to show consistency which is one of the main flaws in him he is a very good player we all know that but is not consistent enough and that is the same complaint Lampard had so Give a chance to Callum hudson Roy in the left wing versus Tottenham Hotspur. Jose Mourinho, a great chance to prove himself once again. So on the left wing, Callum hudson Adoy. On to the camp position now. There is only one name that should play there. Kai Havertz, although he has played a lot of matches, but I think he should start versus Tottenham. Great team, great as- atmosphere and he has a chance to prove himself to the doubters. Although he played very well versus West Bromwich, Albion and Barnsley, he scored a hat-trick versus Barnsley. He still needs to prove himself in the Premier League and against big teams and Tottenham are a big team. So a great opportunity for him. But Lampard has to play him at the number 10 position because we all saw what he's capable of in that position and that is his best position no more of that striker or that right wing thing only the number 10 position on the right wing position now and mason mount deserves a start that is for sure he showed us what he is capable of and how good he is versus west brom started the comeback with that wonderful goal outside of the box a curler straight into the top corner it was amazing to watch And he was the catalyst to our comeback. He was so important. He gave an assist also for the last goal, I think. And it was amazing to see him. No favorism by Lampard. That is for sure. Lampard does not favor anyone. He wants the best from everyone. And we saw that if we wait with Callum hudson he will get his chances. And Mason Mount deserves the starts he gets. He's more mature. He runs more for the team. And he's a hard worker. Therefore, on the right wing position, Mason Mount, <clears throat> that is for sure. The last but not the least, the striker position. And I will go with Olivier Giroud. Timo Werner worked a lot. Tammy Abraham got a start. But Olivier Giroud hasn't started a game for us this season. He has to start one now. And this game is perfect for him. He bullies defenders. He will use his height, he will use his hold-up play and overall he's a very great striker to have in the team. Tammy Abram also has learned a lot for him and it has showed on the pitch, that is for sure. Injuries regarding injuries, Hakim Ziyech and Christian Pulisic still one week away from recovery and we can expect them on Saturday or Sunday whenever our match is in the Premier League. So, fingers crossed they come back but... Lampard has said that they are not available for the Tottenham game. That is it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. My prediction is a 2-1 victory to us. I don't know why but I think Lampard will get his 4th victory versus Jose Mourinho. What are your predictions? Write down below the right predictions. Get a shout out in the next video. And it is surprising no one has gotten a right prediction till now. Because our results are so topsy and turvy every time. That is it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like the video. And like the video if you like the video. Thank you so much for watching. And see you next time.